Well, at least it's bloody sunny weather now. Pawnbroker. Yeah, no, I'm going to go to Pawnbroker first. Got to admit, this is looking hot. Yeah, anyone could call it a ring. If you take it along with all of the other indicators, hold oh, Hugo Moller was identified by the screws ground. He's our guy. Witnesses have fingered the wrong guy before. He ran for God's sake. And he always maintained he was set up. Oh shit. Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. You have a rose gold wedding and engagement ring? David Brember. We're gonna get something for this pledge? Gave that bum money, now you guys are gonna leave me short. How much did you give him? Fifty bucks? Try another number. Twenty? Try ten. Feel lucky you're getting it. I have the rings right here. Okay. Mark here. Maker's mark. Usually traceable. That one came from Parkfield's jewelry down on Broadway. Thanks for the tip. Hmm. Does this mark mean anything? Oh mark. You see an idea to follow. What have you got on the guy who brought these in? He goes by the name of Percy B. Shelley. Gave an address. 15 Poland Street, London, Tulare County. Can you give us a description of the man who pawned these rings? Not sure. Medium height, medium build, dark hair, I think. Sorry. He just had one of those forgettable faces. We'll be in touch, Mr. Remnant. Let's have a look around. Nope, nothing. Oh, what the f- I was right, I was right there as well. Well, you know what? That's what partners are for. Okay, go ahead. 
say it again. Say Kukaya! Come in here! That's it, old man. I've had enough of your gibberish. Oh! Wow, get the fuck back here. Give it up, LAPD! Hey, what's going on? Fuck. Oh, that wasn't him? Wow, I had no idea you could blind fire. <laughs> just now, I just found out you could blind fire. Holy... Uh, just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how many is that now? 18 out of 40. You know the way, you can drive. Yes! Rank 14. We need to go over the case notes. Something like that. Guy makes me sick. We'll talk to the corner. Keep an eye on Okay. What have we got here? White female, approximately 40 years of age. Lipstick smudges on the face, but no writing. At least nothing legible. Blood force trauma to the temple, nose, and eye regions. Ligature marks point to the probable cause of death being strangulation. Any idea of the time of death? From her temperature, after midnight would be my guess. Hmm. Blood splatter on the carriage. She must have been struck while standing. Well, yeah, we did see the uh, cutscene. Fuck. Smell? Very good. There is the usual evacuation smell, but it appears she's been living rough for quite some time. Very strong smell of alcohol. The autopsy will tell, but I would assume that she was inebriated. Yeah, she was pissed. Damn! It seems I've been swabbing a lot of bare fingers recently. Can you be more exact about the time of death? No later than 2 a.m. The state the body was in, a one or two hour window is the best I can do. What? Alright then. I can't examine the bottom half. Huh? 